Hello. Welcome to Dairy of a Wimp again. The movie about Roger creating rules for Greg Hefley. All right, everybody has said that this movie is amazing, and I remember watching it and loving it, but I also remember loving the first movie, and... The first movie was kind of ass. Yeah, well, it wasn't ass. It's, 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 it's iconic. It's nostalgic, but, like, it's not a great movie. And it's very mean-spirited. It's not... Mm. The real question is, does Roderick actually rule? Let's take a look. Sounds a lot better than Sixth Grader. Oh no, I fucking hate the beginning of this one. It's a magic wand. Do you want to see a trick? Only if the trick is to make that thing disappear. I'd like to see the trick only if the trick involves Greg getting decapitated. <laughs> Thanks, Fredly. I can't believe people eat perfectly good food just lying around. <laughs> I'll say that for later. Anyone who puts, like, the gum behind their ear, no. Why do people think it's cool to put gum behind their ear, you know, where your hair is? It could get stuck in your hair and you could have hairy gum. Why? It disgusted you, right? Yeah, like, I literally just vomited. Like. Well, then the scene has served its purpose. It's done its job. Yeah, he has a love interest in this movie. Her name is Holly Hills. She just moved here. She's an all-star soccer player, has done professional modeling, and was her sixth grade class president. Why does he know so much? What? I googled her. How could you find out that much information from googling a person's name? I forgot Google existed at that time. Did it? Shrag Gupta is literally just plot exposition. Like, th think about it. Like, in the first movie, all he did was explain the cheese touch, and now he's just explaining one of the new characters because he Googled her. We got Greg being narcissistic again. We have our seats. Now, I like how that guy just shows them, like, a giant mountain of Dunkin' Donuts uh, munchkins. And they don't and even like, touch hey, it. Hey, look at this, and then they... He doesn't even put it down. He's just like, hey, look at this. Okay, bye. Excuse me. I said excuse me. You're blocking the exit. Uh, oh, uh. My name is... We know exactly who you are. Holly Hills of 432 North Embry Lane. No, uh, we don't know who you are. <clears throat> Was that a boner joke? That could have been, actually. Hey, hey, Greg. Can you break a leg or something so we can leave? <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Okay, that, that was good. That was pretty good. Roderick's already the best character. There is no way that girl will ever talk to you. Well, I just talked to her. You see that clock? They play a slow song at the top of every hour for couple skate. Ask her to skate. I'm going in. Cover me. <gasps> This is like twisted metal with people on skates. Greg Hefley, this is your mother. Stay where you are, and your father is going to come rescue you. Okay, here he comes. Here comes Frank. I see him. Dad! I know. Why would you pick him up like that and not just like, I don't know, hold his hand? Hey, Romeo, how'd it go with the new girl? You ruined my birthday! Don't ever stop. Keep doing it. God. You may not realize it now, but having a brother is one of the most important relationships of your life. I mean, one day you're going to be Uncle Greg and Uncle Roderick to each other's kids. That's important. She's thinking way too far ahead. She she thinks that somebody will actually love her son Greg and have a child with with her. Have a child with her. 
So that's why I've come up with a new program that's going to reward you. I'm calling it, ha ha ha, <laughs> mom bucks. You're paying us with fake money? For every hour that you spend together without fighting, you each earn a mom buck, which you can then trade in for one real dollar. Why don't you just give them real money then? A dollar an hour. Buy a Monopoly game and just be like, boom, I have a million mom bucks, give me a million dollars. This was my chance. No way, Greg Hefley. I, I hate how every time she talks to Greg, she always calls him Greg Hefley. It's not just Greg. She has to use the last name too. You know I'm stronger than you, Greg Hefley. See? Okay, let's start again. What are your names? Greg Hefley. Greg Hefley. Would you be related to Roderick Hefley? I would say no. I would yeah. say no too, but like I would get in trouble for it. But here's the thing. I think we've glossed over the fact that yeah. Greg is like the worst person ever. I've got my eye on you, Hefley. He, he, like, he, I, re I remember reading the book in fifth grade with my mom and she was like, oh, that's so, oh, that's not right. She, like she was like, Greg's getting in trouble because he's related to Roderick, who was a bad student. And I was like, Greg should be in more trouble be being related. Greg's worse than Roderick. When do we get to play the real drum? Why could ever let you touch them? Hey, we should enter the talent show. I could do my magic act and you could be my assistant. Assistant? No way. Doing magic tricks is bad enough. Assisting the guy doing the tricks? I'd never make it to eighth grade. Okay, listen, okay, this is what I hate the most about sequels like this. It's like the previous movie is like, yes, they learned their lesson, and then in the next movie, it's like, oh, no, he didn't learn anything, okay. Oh my god, look at the glossy Xbox, and there's just a cookie in it! Wait, there's a cookie? That was a cookie? Yes! Manny, what have you done? I'm only free. I already want to oh beat god. the ever-living shit, shit out of this kid. Yeah, yeah. You used to say that as a kid? Yeah, I Were you copying that. the kid? I was, I was copying the yeah, kid. You I, weren't I, even I three when this movie came out. I wonder what it'd be like to have a family that actually loves me. Little boy, won't you come be part of our family? Finally! Someone I can leave my billions to. <laughs> I hope they get shot and killed and Greg is sad again. No, he wouldn't be sad because then he'd inherit the millions. Oh, yeah. Wake up! I hate these gym scenes in these movies because every time it's in the movie, it's like always everyone versus Greg's group of friends. What are you doing here? Mom said you'd pay mom bucks if I drove you home from school. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I needed the room for my new equipment. How'd you have the money for that? Oh, well, you know, mom bucks. Wait, so if, Ralph, if, if Roderick has like a million mom bucks, wouldn't the mom notice this and be like, wait, how did you get all these mom bucks? And, and then Greg doesn't have any mom bucks. You'd think that the mom, like when Roderick shows up with like a million mom bucks, you'd think that the mom would be like, huh. Unless she has Alzheimer's, but I doubt that. I got it. Exploded diaper! <laughs> Exploded diaper! I called your mom and she gave her permission for you to come with us to Rock and Rapids next weekend. I think I'd like to stay home and practice my magic act. Yeah! <laughs> That's where Greg belongs. Yeah, Greg belongs on Dadashi. Kakuna Matata. Ow. You sing that in front of me again, boy. I murder you. It means never. You just have to work with what you got. Wake up in the morning. Whoa, whoa, whoa! It looks fake. How do I fake it if I'm actually falling backwards? Wear this on your head. <clears throat> now do it again. Why can't you be the one that falls backwards in the chair? Because I'm not the one wearing the underwear on my head. Then put it on your head. Rally, just Jeez. grab him and force it onto his head. Like, force him to put his own crusty underpants on top of his head. Remember when I broke my arm? That didn't feel good at- <laughs> Poopy. Oh. I like how Roderick placed a chocolate bar like right where Greg's butt crack would be. Dude, I wouldn't even do that to my kid. I would be like, alright, we're going back home. Poop! He's pooped his pants! No, it, it isn't what it looks like. It isn't. It's chocolate. See? <laughs> you two 
will stay here together all weekend and work out your differences. You two are going to stay together in the house all weekend together. You guys are going to get along by the We're time we get back. And don't have anybody over this weekend. Got it? Party at my party. Your party better be good. Our party, little bro. We need chairs from the basement. Yeah, and it's staying closed. I don't need a middle schooler ruining my party. Keep quiet or I'll lock you in the dryer. Now, how are you gonna lock Greg in the dryers? Just... When our band is huge, we'll have parties every night. But there'll be backstage parties. Backstage party, how does that work? <laughs> That's gonna be the most cramped party ever. Why don't you come down and get me? Everything is cool here, right, Greg? Yeah, Mom. And I have your number if I need you. If you do anything that embarrasses me, anything, I will. You what? <laughs> Look at Rowley's face when he does that. <laughs> Can we just take a second to acknowledge what is that in the background? Is that just bread? Just a bunch of bread. Just a whole bunch what? of fucking bread. Did somebody say dance? Break it down! Rowley, no, don't! <laughs> Beck is dead. Honestly, honestly, if I were at a party and I saw Rally doing that, I'd do it with him. Just us when we take a selfie. Oh, you are in so much trouble. <laughs> just immediately Roderick dies. That's what happens when you disobey your parents. They just kill you. You lied to mom just as much as I did, and you know how she feels about lying. She, she's gonna kill both of us. No, not R.I.P. R.I.H. Greg. Rest in hell. You don't want Greg to rest in peace. You want him to rest... In, yeah. in, uh, in loud. R-I-L. Rill. Rest in loud. You do the living room, I'll start the kitchen. Go! What is it with everybody and bread at this party? Everybody's bringing bread. Maybe we can paint over it. I don't know how to make paint. You buy it! You don't make paint, you buy it. You're supposed you can, to- You can make paint though. No, I mean, well, yeah, but no, you buy it. Why do movies always do that? It's like, I don't know how to make paint. You buy it, you don't make it, you buy it, son of a bitch. They don't have time to like Shut buy it. Shut the fucking fuck up. No, I got it. See, it's a good thing I locked you down, Turn up. Let's go. I like how they just have a door just in the basement. Uh, and what's it like? Like, is the door like too small or something? Or like it's like no, it has a, it has it doesn't have a lock on it. Oh yeah. Well, even then, like, is nobody gonna go downstairs and just see a whole freaking door with writing on it? Gotta keep them away from the bathroom for the next ten years. <laughs> you keep them away from the bathroom for the next ten years. They're never gonna pee again. Got it. Deny, deny, deny. Man, I sure do miss Chirac. What are you talking about? Did you just hear something? <laughs> So Greg's being just a complete asshole again. Wow, I, I, I'm so... Oh, that, someone did that to me. Hey, Rally. Does he know about the D-O-R-E? D-O-R-E! <laughs> Don't. <laughs> that door. Hey, Rally. What's new, huh? Can Rally make any other face besides that one? Like that. Just constantly crying, like. But if you like rocking deep into the night and partying hard all day. So listen, if you're a rock star, like most of your partying is just gonna be in a moving van, like late at night because you're on tour. Andy's magic cushion. What's so magical about a cushion? Or should we watch? The foot. <laughs> the foot. <laughs> Dan Schneider made a feature length film. A feature length film. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Why are they so scared of a foot? You're a foot. Why are you twisting the knob to look for the lock? Where's the lock? Yeah, I, 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 I can't find the lock, guys. Isn't it supposed to be like a twist thing or something? You're a twist thing. Hey, Roderick, could you come here, please? I like how the immediate assumption is Roderick replaced the door. What happened to the lock? Uh, 
I don't know what you're talking about. There was a lock on this door. I don't think so. Like, I've never seen a lock on the door, you know? Door? What door? Why are you talking about a lock to the bathroom? What, what is a lock to the bathroom? What is a bathroom? I've never seen a bathroom before. I've never once peed in my life. Yeah, if you want to pee so badly, why don't you just get a bathroom installed? I'll just go ask your brother the same thing. Greg? Bathroom? Door. It was Roderick! He made me use his idea! He had the party! Someone were on the door, so we had to change it! I knew it. You, your whole life, Greg, you've been lying all your life, and the one time where you're supposed to lie, you're like, it was Roderick. No, Mom, wait! I was exaggerating a little bit! It wasn't a party, it was a bed rehearsal! We said nobody could come over. Yeah, but Mom, if you punish him, Roderick's gonna know I told him. If you do this, Roderick and I will never, ever be friends again. Okay, if... If I let this slide and be our little secret, do you swear to be on your best behavior and get along? I swear, I swear. Okay. You didn't buckle. You're right, I'm not wearing a belt. Oh, and that girl from the roller rink, she laughed at me. Just do something that changes her opinion of you, like, like set a firecracker off in the classroom. Boom! Chicks dig bad boys. Imagine if just Greg just walks in and just sets a firecracker off in the middle of class. I remember bringing a lighter to, to class. I'm sorry, what? I'm gonna pass her a note with a question on it. She'll be like, I have to know who wrote this. How do you get your hair to smell so beautiful? It's from Greg. Oh, she's gonna scream, isn't she? She's just gonna scream, he touched me! Greg Heffley touched me, not Greg. Greg Heffley did this. Greg Heffley? <laughs> Called it Greg Heffley. She's always called, no, why, why? Why does Patty always call Greg by his full name all the, it's so annoying. Like, like Greg Heffley is passing me notes. Hey, Greg Heffley. It's always, it's never just Greg. It's just Greg Hef. it has to be Greg Heffley all the time. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna rewatch the entire movie, and if there is a scene where she actually calls Greg by just his first name and not by his full name, I will put it in right here. Just for shits and giggles, let's count how many times Patty calls Greg by his full name. Who let you into the school, Greg Heffley? You listened to me, Greg Heffley. Greg Heffley was suspended! Come on, Greg Heffley! Greg Heffley has the cheese set! No way, Greg Heffley. You know I'm stronger than you, Greg Heffley. Greg Heffley, your performance was pathetic, Greg Heffley. I don't care who you gave it to, Greg Heffley. You're still such a child, Greg Heffley. Ow! Bill's taking the band to a whole new level. Somebody farted. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody farted. Hi, Holly. Oh, hi, Fregley. She thinks I'm Fregley? It's gotta hurt. <laughs> Damn. I love this. I love it like hey, Greg. All right, let's go. Little bro, I am taking you out. I hope he hangs Greg. Mom would kill us if she saw us eating this. <laughs> the way he ate that hot dog was so weird. Finn, just no, Finn, no, no. Finn. He like kissed it. He literally kissed it. Finn, Look, go back. Finn. Go back. Finn. Just because something is shaped like a dick doesn't mean you have to make it always you feel like a it. dick. I'm All I can say is get ready to have your mind blown. I hope he blows his mind with the revolver! Jesus. <laughs> Honestly, if I just saw f vom fake vomit on my car, w they wouldn't get a reaction. I'd just look at it. No, even if it's real, it's like who cares? It's not. In, it's not it's in my so car. Harmless. It's, it's so out. Harmless. No, it's not even in my car. It's just on the outside. Like walk around it. You can't help but me. I'm a superstar. Honestly, Coach Malone is in the wrong here. Like, what is he gonna do? He's gonna. I'm gonna go kill a bunch of kids for putting fake vomit on my car. At this point, he should just stop chasing them. Like, you're gonna kill these two children in a public mall. So, what did you boys do? I just hung out and talked about life. Oh my god. I love this part. Roderick, 
Can you explain what you're doing in this photo? That's not me. Why were they even taking pictures in the first place? Like, what really, Greg? I can't believe that you had a party. I can't believe you had a party. I haven't been able to look at that bathroom door for two weeks. I know the way up. I'm going upstairs to a bathroom that has a lock on it, and no one can tell me that it doesn't. <laughs> Honestly, that would be me in this scenario. I would I would be the dad. Our parents are super mad at us, so we have to spend the weekend at my grandpa's boring retirement community. And all the other players have to try not to laugh. Putting economic policy before fiscal responsibility is like putting the cart before the horse. That is hilarious, Grandpa. I'll read another one, Greg. <laughs> okay, that was funny. My luck had finally changed. Aww. <laughs> give it back! Oh, you know what? I'm I will give it back to, to Holly. <laughs> I like how Greg is wearing underwear that, like, nobody ever wears. It's like, yeah. it looks like a diaper. No, the peeping Tom is the one looking into the stall. Yeah, so you yeah. guys are the peeping Tom. The day of the talent show came around. Mom and Dad made us both go. You need to let Roderick play in the talent show tonight. His band is playing. Without him, and it's not fair. But I can't go back on the punishment. You let Roderick play in the talent show. I'll do the magic thing with Rowley. Oh wow, he's uh, he's oh, yeah. redeeming himself. I can't wait for the next movie where all that just gets flushed down the drain. Okay. Yeah, it will happen. Okay, in all honesty, you know what? Greg hasn't been terrible. That thing's dead. <gasps> Ew. Ew. Uh, poopy. Put your hands up for Lottie Dipper! We are Lottie Dipper! Yes, we rock! Alright, so that was Diary of a Wimp Roderick Rules. Um, so, Out of the yeah, this is, this is, really is the, good. this I one know. is miles better than the first Way better. So, yeah, this, uh, this movie was actually, on actually I, this good. was actually good, you know? It's yeah. not just full of Greg being the worst person ever. It's only kind of filled with Greg being the worst person ever. Um, yeah, yeah this movie, I give a That's nine. Yeah, nine, nine out of ten. I, it's great. I've never seen anything like it. Uh, so yeah, I cannot wait for the, the the third movie, Dog Days. I have high hopes for that movie. Me too. Right? That movie's gonna be amazing, right? I mean, obviously, Dog Days has to be better than Long wow. Haul, right? Yeah, well, obviously. Right? Right? That's foreshadowing. All right, guys, so that was Vinman 900, Finn, and Slick Nugget doing Diary of a Wimpy Kid Part 2, Roderick Makes His Own Rules. We will see you next time when we do Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Doggy Daisies. Doggy All right. Daisies. Uh, so yeah. yeah. All right, you know what, guys? This is it. This is the video's end. We're done. We will see you later. Subscribe, like, uh, reblog, retweet. Uh, uh, don't watch porn. It's a sin. Jesus loves you. And good night, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye.